Hi guys, I'm not going to keep you. I just wanted to show you what I did. I did end up changing out the strings to a um, zip tie method. Um, I was going to wait, but I couldn't even finish getting her dress. And the connection I had, literally, she kind of fell apart every time I tried to put the outfit on her. I did end up changing her into some jeans because the 3T was a touch small, although the shirt fit perfectly. So that's something to keep in mind. So she's going to have to have larger size pants than her shirts because the 3T shirt is actually spot on. But the 3T little outfit, and then again, it could definitely be the outfit, is definitely too tight for her. That's possibly why they have her in a lot of dresses in her um, videos and photo shoots. But we'll definitely see. I do have dresses for her. So if that's the case, I'll just let her buyer know. But she definitely, I mean, I'm pretty sure she could wear a, um, well, actually, these are a size 5. But I'm pretty sure she can wear a size 5 shirt and stuff. But I'm envisioning it being very baggy on her. And although she has all her upper extremities you don't want it to just look like you just grab something out of the store so if you're picky like me it is kind of a dilemma you may have to buy her shirts and pants separately so that you can get a smaller shirt to match her body type and definitely this uh, 3t fits nicely and then get her probably a size 5 on the pants and you can always do it like that. But these size 5 look really nice. And these are skinny jeans. So they're, I left the skirt on so she can keep her yellow on. But in the meantime, this is what was in there. And it is literally a string. It's a very long string. But it's still a string and it was giving. So what's in her now is a zip tie. And I'm showing you how it looks on the inside. It's literally two zip ties together. They make long zip ties, but the long zip ties that they make are way too thick for what you need it for. But zip ties are very sturdy, and um, it'll do the job very nicely for you. Okay, I'm going to turn the camera a little bit so that you can see her middle right here. And the zip tie is inside of that little gap there. So if I pull her, she's coming down. And, of course, the opposite way, if I um, pull her from the top. She's definitely going to bring her bottom half with her. However, I do agree with the person that sold me the Lend Kit. You really need to tell your buyer to be extremely take care and be gentle. Don't be slinging the little girl around because she definitely, there's that possibility that that zip tie could pop loose. If it does, you definitely... If as a buyer, I tell, um, I educate my buyers on stuff like that. If for any reason her top half should slide out, it should because it's zip tied just enough to be tight. Should be able to carefully lay her down and put it right back on. Um, and then if there's a problem, definitely I tell mine to email me, and I would be more than happy to walk them through it, and they can definitely get more buy zip ties and if they want to just redo the process um there is a slight hole in the front of the the cloth now because you can't slide the thick part of the zip tie in unless you kind of put a little nick but it's definitely facing inward so it does not take away from the baby too much um but that's another thing i will truth and advertise and let them know that it does exist especially when I'm trying to give them instructions on if 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 she comes apart she she may never come apart because they may be the gentlest mommy in the world and they never rough house the baby so the baby never came apart and that'd be awesome now the other part the reason they I think they don't stuff her that much is so that she can do this kind of in her arm and get her little shirts and stuff on without too much of a struggle you also can be like put your hands above your head 
and we and she can hold her hands up above her head of course because of the ball joints and help you out a little bit now I'm gonna snap that same little button on yeah we definitely <laughs> don't like the button with the little rubber hook thing okay but I guess that's just the way they made it so that it's nothing hard on the, the body I guess I'm not sure and we as a rule of thumb zip ties do not get clipped until the baby is actually sold and in this case until the child is actually sold and as you can see I'm lifting her up and she ain't going nowhere I mean like seriously the only way she's gonna come apart is if you're just slinging her around and treating her roughly and I pray you know she doesn't find a mommy or a person that's gonna buy her and maybe give her to a child that would be slinging her around and we're gonna turn her head so you can see her little head action and of course her arm action and we're we're basically done with this lovely lady and yeah I just really wanted to come back and show you what I did to fix the problem that we kind of ended on without to let you know that it was resolved and it was a resolution for it and definitely going to get her detail video done and that's also going to be the beginning class for the next video but I'm very pleased with Miss Ila Isabella and, and of course you can always rename her if you want to I think Isabella kind of fits this little lady. Alright guys, have a great evening and be blessed and we'll see you next time on Kitten's Corner.